But we all expect to have a baby and instantly just be totally in love and smitten and like, you know, all cozy and just love and life, right? That's what we expect. And in reality, so many moms have their babies and feel nothing. So that is exactly what we're talking about in today's video. Welcome, my name is Kate Borsato. I am a mental health therapist for moms and moms-to-be, and I'm here to normalize all the things that people don't talk about um, in everyday life. I think we need to just kind of open it all up and get a bit more realistic about how it actually feels to be a mom. So thank you for being here. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're interested in these videos. I talk all about motherhood, what to expect, how to support yourself, and most importantly, how to create positive mental health. All right. I also encourage you to click the little bell that you see because that's going to let you know when I post a new video, which is going to be every Wednesday. So let's jump into today's video. All right, now I can openly say that when I had my first baby, I remember went through the whole labor thing, had baby on my chest. I was so excited for that. I just couldn't wait to feel like the, that love and all of these feelings that you're kind of promised, right? And I remember I was like, oh, cool, there's my child, don't care. Like that is honestly how I felt. And now as a therapist, I specialize in this area. I know so much more now. I know that this is actually really normal, that many, many moms don't feel that connection right off the bat. And that doesn't mean that there's anything wrong going on. It doesn't mean that um, you're not meant to be a mom or that you're missing some sort of gene or that um, you're not going to feel like you love your baby, right? It's not any of that. Okay, so let me explain a little bit more about what's happening. All right, so I'm gonna be talking about five main reasons that you might be feeling disconnected or not like that in love with your baby, okay? And I hope by the end of this video you feel um, a little bit less like there's something wrong and more normal. So the first reason is that you don't actually know this little human, okay? Just because you grew this child, just because you've been pregnant, um, doesn't mean you know this little baby. You don't know anything about them. So it's really interesting how we expect ourselves to love something instantly uh, when you don't even know what the dynamic is, right? So remind yourself of that. I don't know this baby yet. How do I, why would I expect to feel this overwhelming love right away? This is so related to the second reason why you might not be feeling, you know, super in love or connected right away. Love is an emotion that usually develops over time. So I know we've all heard of like the instant love stories, like, oh, I fell in love as soon as I saw them, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but that's not the norm. Like that very rarely happens. And the same thing applies for your child. So again, just because this is your baby, just because you grew it, maybe you birthed it, however that baby came into the world, doesn't mean you love them right away. Allow the love to grow right? We grow, we, we, we build love when we experience positive things together. So trust that it's going to come and remind yourself that it takes time to develop those positive feelings. That's okay. The third reason you might be feeling really disconnected from your baby or not fully in love is that possibly you experienced birth trauma or a very difficult time bringing this child into the world. Maybe there's other stress and trauma going on in your life right? If you think back to all that you've been through to bring this child into the world, I hope that you can connect with some compassion for all that you have taken on, right? All of the ups and downs. Imagine a relationship with, let's say, your partner. What is it like when you go through really hard experiences? Do you feel in, in love? Like imagine if you experienced a trauma. Do you feel overwhelming love? Probably not, you're, you're in a bit of a survival mode. Like you're not really open to those feelings when you're going through trauma or you're processing or you're healing from very hard experiences. So just check in and, and ask yourself, like, did I go through a lot? Am I, am I healing still? Am I still recovering? Would it be okay if it just takes me a little bit longer to feel really connected with this baby? I think it is. The fourth main reason that you might be feeling disconnected from your baby is that you're probably in fight or flight or survival mode, okay? So often postpartum, even for like the first postpartum year, moms feel quite anxious. You feel overwhelmed. There's so much going on. You're putting out fires. Maybe you have other children. 
you're doing a lot, right? You've got a lot on your plate. And when you feel overwhelmed like that, your nervous system literally feels under attack. And it's so hard to feel warmth and love and connection when you're feeling attacked, okay? And this isn't your fault. This is literally how your nervous system and your brain is processing everything, all right? So with that in mind, I want you to think of like, how can I calm my whole nervous system? How can I take care of myself? How can I really focus on rest and all of those things that you know make you feel really good? Focus there and trust that the connection will come. All right, reason number five that I wanna talk about, becoming a mother or maybe having subsequent kids is one of the hardest, I would say the most difficult transition you will ever go through in your life. Your identity changes, your relationship changes, your career changes, your body changes, like everything, everything changes. It's really hard. Society paints this lovely picture that we're just gonna like love it and transition with such ease and it's just not the case, it's totally, unrealistic so considering that like your life is just flipped over and there's so much to adjust to doesn't it kind of make sense that you're not really loving everything about this and maybe you're not feeling overcome with love to your baby maybe that makes sense I don't know I think it makes a lot of sense okay so now let's talk about what you can do to build connection because I know uh, sometimes when I validate people, when I explain things, they're like, okay, that's nice, but tell me what I can do to fix this. <laughs> I totally get that. So let me give you some suggestions. So first of all, there's nothing wrong with you. It's not a bad thing that you don't feel connected. There's nothing that's gone wrong or that's, you know, a, a warning sign or anything like that. So first just remind yourself that it is okay that you're feeling this way, right? That's the first step. Second piece, reminding yourself that it will come with time. Trust that it will come. Trust that the connection builds. It layers and layers and layers, okay? It's not something that you're just gonna wake up one day and feel in love and connected. It builds over time, it grows. Um, something practically that you can do. So if you're feeling like, like you don't even really enjoy the snuggles or you're not really feeling drawn to it, I want you to try anyway, okay? So even if you don't feel like you're getting anything out of the snuggles, try, just try to um, go through the motions knowing that eventually those positive feelings are gonna build. So just physiologically, when you are touching your baby and you're talking to your baby, holding your baby, snuggling, right? That is releasing chemicals, hormones in your body that are going to allow that love and connection to build. All right, so it's a little bit of like faking it till you make it without adding that extra stress of like, oh God, I don't feel in love, I don't feel connected. Don't do that to yourself, okay? Be kind to yourself, but act as if, right? So don't wait for yourself to feel overcome with love and warmth before you go to your baby and snuggle them and be with them. Try to do that anyway, even if you don't feel um, like it's super natural right now. So the main takeaway in terms of what you can do is do the actions, so do the things, right? Act as if you are connected in love and trust that the feelings will follow. Don't wait for the feelings to take the lead. Just try to um, create some activities that you do together or lots of connection, physical connection, talking, soothing, singing if you can. See if you can push yourself to do those actions and trust that the feelings will come. It's not too late, you don't miss a window of falling in love with your baby. So sometimes moms come to me and they feel like, oh, it's been four months, I still don't feel it. It's okay, you can build that connection, all right? So do not stress, you're doing your best, you're doing a good job, okay? Be kind to yourself, be gentle with yourself, and take really good care. Let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything else that you need support with. I'm always really happy to create videos that um, people request. So. I'm here to support you, so let me know what you need. And again, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell so that you get notifications when I post. Talk to you soon, bye-bye.